Instagram is full of stunning Milan pictures, showing the city's romantic canals and impressive architecture. But is Milan really as beautiful as Instagram suggests? And which three places are actually worth visiting? Time for a reality check. Milan is Italy's second largest city and home to one million people. Each year, 2.5 million tourists visit the metropolis. It's considered a fashion and design mecca. A tourist magnet and economic powerhouse. The city's colorful facades and Gothic cathedral feature in countless Instagram pics. But is Milan's cathedral really a must-see? Time for our first reality check. The cathedral is one of the largest churches in the world. Construction began in 1386, but wasn't completed for another 450 years. 3,500 sculptures adorn its gorgeous marble facade. Milan's Cathedral Square is one of the most beautiful and international places in Europe. This is the place to be. Where do you come from? Australia. China. We are from Poland. It's not surprising the square is so popular with youngsters, adults, locals and tourists. Milano yeah, no, is a wonderful place. This, this style and this nature on the buildings, I love it so much. Is it too crowded? A little bit, but uh, in Roma it was uh, worse. I think it's very beautiful. It's better than Rome, better than Florence. <laughs> I have seen a lot of these kinds of buildings in my trip and it's unbelievable. It's, it's up there, it's one of my favorites. Absolutely. Time to catch the view from the top of the cathedral. But first, we need to climb 164 steps to reach the roof terrace. The entrance ticket costs 16 euros and is well worth the money. Did you know several movie scenes were shot up here, including by Italy's legendary filmmaker Visconti? From here, we've got a great view of the square below. Then we scale a few more steps to reach the roof plateau. It's refreshingly calm up here, letting you switch off from the hustle and bustle down below. And the view is breathtaking. Weather permitting, you can see almost as far as the Alps. Next, we head back down into the cathedral itself. Admission is included in the ticket price. The edifice is supposedly large enough to hold 35,000 people. But visitors must dress modestly. Bare shoulders, hot pants and the like are not allowed. That's why large cloths are sold outside for covering up. Inside, there's always renovation work going on. Even so, Milan Cathedral definitely lives up to the Instagram hype. Milan's Vittorio Emanuele II shopping arcade is also huge on Instagram. But how does it hold up in our reality check? The arcade opened in 1864 and it's popular with Milan's high society. The arcade consists of two intersecting passages. They're adorned by magnificently intricate frescoes, sculptures and mosaics. The arcade is covered by an impressive glass dome. And it's not uncommon to see tourists spinning on one particular mosaic. I just heard someone say by stepping on, on your heel and you turn around, it give you good luck. We'll good give luck. you good luck. Apart from that, the arcade is perfect for snapping some fancy pictures. And shopping, of course. So what's popular with buyers? Uh, this is big. Ah, can, can we have a look? Ah, it's big. Oh, 
back. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, back, no, back. No. Because we don't have uh, uh, this uh, shop Dior. in Moscow. Yes. Okay. Oh yes, three bags. It's uh, cheaper than Chinese than China. Yes. It's mostly luxury items on sale here, which won't be everyone's cup of tea. But having a look around the arcade is definitely a must. Besides, it's fairly small, so exploring it won't take long. And treat yourself to an ice cream from the famous Savini Coffee House. È un gelato al pistacchio buonissimo, tipicamente italiano, perché è fatto con del latte, dei pistacchi di bronze tipici. Si sente il sapore che è perfetto. And now our third and final reality check, Milan's Navigli district. It looks incredible on Instagram, but is it really worth visiting? Milan was once crisscrossed by medieval canals for transporting goods, including the marble used to build the cathedral. Today, only two canals remain, the Naviglio Grande and Naviglio Pavese. This neighborhood is surprisingly calm during the day. You'll find tranquil courtyards, alleys, and unique shops like the Orto Urbano store. Navigli has transformed over the past few years. Rispetto anche molto prima è cambiato molto. Hanno, diciamo, beh, esteticamente molto più curato. As evening approaches, Navigli comes to life. The tranquil neighborhood transforms into a vibrant nightlife hotspot. It's a great place for enjoying dinner, music and drinks. Navigli is hugely popular with teenagers and foodies. Allora, i Navigli sicuramente sono cambiati negli ultimi anni. Eh, diciamo che sicuramente la, la, la ristorazione è cambiata. Oggi Milano è diventata una delle capitali a livello di ristorazione e soprattutto sui navigli diciamo, si respira quest'area di uh, cambiamento, di ristorazione. Vi consiglio un giro sui navigli. Eh. There are two sides to Navigli. It's quiet during the day and lively at night. We think you should definitely visit the district. It's a unique experience and perfect for taking some great pictures too. Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II, on the other hand, is only worth a visit if you have lots of money or want to sample some tasty pistachio ice cream. Definitely don't miss out on visiting Milan Cathedral Roof Terrace. The views from up here are magnificent, provided the weather is good.